Lego Python here and today um, I'm just going to show you uh, the remaining brickheads that were announced. Um, three were from, so far we've only seen three from the Marvel, uh, from Age of Ultron, um, two from Disney and then this one which is the Lego Batman movie um, and it looks good but kind of looks different from what it looked like um, from Comic-Con. Um, co from Comic-Con last year, Batman, like, instead of having those pieces as ears, they had it as Nexo powers, and it looked a lot more smooth and better. Uh, you'll, know what I'm be I'll, you'll know what I'm talking about when I show you Batgirl, because they stuck with that for Batgirl, but they didn't do it for Batman, uh, which is weird. But the good thing is... Um, the reason they didn't make all his eyes just like the other um, brickheads is because his eyes actually glow in the dark um, and it does make sense because I was wondering why it's just white if his eyes in the movie like are constantly glowing uh, so that's very nice um, there's nothing really special I mean there's a 1 by 4 brick uh, that has his logo the suit logo on it and then a 1 by 4 tile that has his utility belt but basically everything uh, but his mouth uh, for the skin tone is all just black. It's just the same colors and I think on the back you can see a little bit of the cape which is very nice. Um, it might be on some hinges so you can actually move it around a little bit. Um, but other than that, that's basically Batman. Um, the next one is Joker. So didn't expect them to really get it perfectly for the hair because the hair is something different. I didn't really like the hair when they first showed Joker, but actually it does look very nice and it looks exactly like the minifigure because the printed, all the details that are on the minifigure itself are all put on um, the brick head itself. And interestingly, they didn't actually um, stick with a 1x4 brick because you know there's only detail in the middle so they decided to go with a 1x2 brick so those pieces could be very useful so three I think 1x4 on the bottom for um, just like the tail I think the buttons and all that stuff um, but just for the bow tie it's just 1x2 um, for the tie and everything and then the mouth um, just a red streak across um, that was printed on top of a 1x4 tile um, and I don't know the significance of the light blue um, plates um, even in the movie it shows in, in the trailers and all that it shows Joker as like just a bit of black um, not black but blue in the back of his eyes I don't know if that shows that he's always like crying or a little sad um, but they always show the blue behind it so I don't know why um, and then again the same thing just the sparkly eyes um, and again the hair just looks really amazing um, and again since they're like minifigures they shouldn't have had ears in the first place they don't really need it um, but I guess it doesn't really stand up because of the hair um, and the last one for well actually there's four for this um, just like um, I think in the previous video I accidentally said three I might have um, but actually there's four for um, Age of Ultron and then the Lego Batman movie. Um, and the next one is actually Robin. I do like how they kept the detail of the minifigure from the minifigure um, of the hair just like sleek on the side over there. So just represented by two cheese slopes. And then for the goggles, don't really they don't really look good because the one by two tile really stands out. Um, but other than that, it's all the same thing. Just a 1x4 brick that has the Robin logo in it and a cape on the back. Just, it looks perfect. The ears on this one do pop out a little bit because of the hair. It just looks a little small. But other than that, this is one that you should get. One of the ones you should get. Um, last but not least is definitely Batgirl. And this is what I was talking about. As you can see... On her ears, you can, I don't know what those pieces are, the ones on the inside, I actually forgot what they're called. But on the outside, you can see that they're Nexo powers, um, and they're colored in purple. So these are very useful. These are colors we haven't even seen before, and they're all in purple. So it's very nice to get them in different colors. 
and then just a simple one by four brick which has just her logo the Batgirl logo on her chest um, and then yes the cape again and on the back you can see a little bit of her ponytail um, and the skin tone um, just a one by four tile and then just the mask and everything else is purple purple and yellow they just got the entire color scheme just completely correct so I do like the look of all these brick heads and I will definitely get these reviewed when they come out for VIPs as soon as possible because I really do want to get my hands on these and that's about it thank you for watching comment like and subscribe